Yeah, check out my little dab sticks. There's a Trump one. <laughs> Lady one. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was, that was funny. But apparently, uh, I was talking too much and uh, my storage space ran out. So I had to fix that real quick. And, uh, yeah, I guess that means I gotta get to the point, okay? And it, anyways, I think Crowder is just kind of being like, um, kind of a piece of shit in my opinion on this whole situation. Uh, he had no problem working with the guy and, you know, all this stuff, taking money from them. For this whole time. And then all of a sudden when he's not getting the money he wants. He takes off and. Uh, tries to run. Their name through the garbage. Okay. So I don't know. He's one of those people. How far can you trust him? He wants to be Project Veritas. He wants to you know expose all this stuff. And no offense, but he's mostly a meme at this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, I appreciate some of the work he's done. And some of the morals, I guess, he stands up for in some ways. Um, but that's just general cons being a conservative, right? You know what I'm saying? So, stabbing basically a friend in the back like that, I think, is uh, pretty dirty business. So... I'm not too interested in uh, Crowder's work, but on to bigger and better things. So apparently, Elon Musk's dad is worried that Elon is going to die or something's going to happen to him. That's uh, pretty interesting. There's a lot of weird stuff in the news. And you know, anytime something weird comes out these days, it doesn't even phase people anymore. Most people. Because, especially on the right, we've been watching this happen for a long time. So, uh, another interesting point I wanted to bring up was, uh, apparently in the last 10 years, the, the ice has, uh, been slowing down, the, 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 the melting of the ice has been slowing down in the northern hemisphere and apparently over this last year between like I think 2021 and 2022 um, it's actually grown and uh, now there's what six or seven climate scientists that are coming out saying in the next over the next 25 years that there's gonna be global cooling going on the north is gonna be cooling down and in and, uh, and it's gonna actually cause Global cooling. So, you know, don't tell Al Gore this. He's, he's uh, out there still pushing his whole uh, inconvenient truth is what he likes to call it. Um, you know, and they were saying the, the oceans were supposed to be boiling by like, what, 2012 or something? <clears throat> I don't know. Still seems pretty cold in wintertime if you jump in the freaking water. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that's um, kind of kind of crappy in the news. Apparently, um, silk, well, diamond and silk, diamond died apparently not long ago. And uh, but they did have a really nice memorial for. Her. I guess Trump put it on. Uh, my mom, my mom had it on uh, when I went and talked to her the other day. She had it on the TV. So that's, uh, that's definitely a shame. I don't think she was jabbed, so at least it's nothing like that. And, uh, I did recently figure out how to put Rumble and watch, like, band.video and stuff on my TV without having to, you know, just to screencast it onto my TV. You know, because they don't put these apps on, on new TVs, like on Roku and stuff. They don't put those apps on there. They only put, like, YouTube and the, the big the big guys on there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, I figured out how to do that recently. That's nice. I can watch Alex Jones Alex Jones again. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely uh, someone I've been missing from YouTube. 
I'm used to it by now, but YouTube used to be a lot funner, you know, 10 years ago, or, yeah, 12 years ago. It was a lot better, if you ask me, but since uh, Alex Jones has been gone, there's definitely other people on there, you know, there's Salty Cracker, there's, there's, there's a lot of good ones, but well, I like watching Alex Jones, it's too bad they got rid of him. But, you know, he even... I think at one point he admitted that he pushed the terms of service like he was really kind of he knew he was breaking the terms of service so he sort of did it on purpose he wanted to be the martyr so I mean it is what it is right but it's just kind of sad because it's it's one-handed really a lot of times they only divvy this stuff out to mostly right-wing or, you know, people, maybe that's in the middle. There's there's left-wing that still get it, but because there's also some very unhinged left-wing. But for the most part, they get a, they get a pass on, uh, on, the, on YouTube and on a lot of those sites. And that's what's funny. That's what's funny about the whole Twitter thing. You know, I got on there after Elon Musk got Twitter. I got on there, I got a Twitter, and I started talking on there. I swear, I ran my mouth so much that I got bored. I don't even know how you get freaking banned from Twitter at this point. Because I used to get, like, you know, little suspensions and stuff like that, like on Facebook and stuff. I don't have a Facebook. I haven't had one for a while. Got on, I didn't have one for years, and I got on there for a little bit. Got tired of it. Got off. I guess that's sort of what happens with social media with me for the most part. That's why I like YouTube. Is because I don't have to really bother so much. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm into filmmaking. There's a lot of people that aren't really into filmmaking that are on YouTube. They're interested in hearing themselves talk, or they're interested in getting uh, popular and things like that. And yeah, let's be honest, we're all sort of interested in that. But I've never been popular. Um, I don't really care to be popular. And I think the mainstream media is trash. So, there you go. So, maybe I'll show some of these memes. I don't know. I don't know if I... I don't really want to do a whole lot of post-processing on this video. I'm sorry about that. But, um, there's not going to be any green screen work or anything like that. Well, I mean, it's good that Elon Musk is coming out and talking about how the, their family is being uh, poisoned by the COVID shot. So that's, uh, it's good because he's, he's the richest person in the United States. I don't know if he's the richest person in the world. Maybe that we can actually keep track of. Because, you know, there's some people out there like, like, uh, maybe El Chapo and stuff that's really fucking rich, but a lot of it you can't even really fathom what his full equity is worth, you know? Um, that was just an example, though. I know he's in prison, and hopefully he's gonna fucking rot in prison. They need to execute that motherfucker before he gets out again. Uh, he's uh, responsible for a lot of fucking deaths, and I don't know why they don't get rid of the motherfucker. But, you know, we got, um, we got laws in place that are supposed to I don't know. He's fucking guilty. Let's be honest. He's fucking guilty. It's obvious. That doesn't mean we shouldn't get other cartel leaders or members, but he's fucking guilty. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I like, I used to like the Dilbert creator, but he's been like kind of a real wine bag lately. I guess he's been going on Alex Jones again. He used to go on there a lot more back in the day. Uh, Rand Paul. <laughs> Rand Paul. I love Rand Paul. You know, I don't understand. Uh, I had a libertarian friend. Not really a friend with him anymore. He motherfucker never ever 
hit me back up or anything. But he was supposed to work on one of my movies with me. Fucking six months in, fucking a little little like two minute fucking uh, bit of dialogue he was supposed to send me <laughs> never comes. You know what I'm saying? A year and a half and fucking nothing. So this guy, so I had a friend, had a friend, libertarian, and uh, he. Is, he says he's a libertarian. I think he's a socialist. He, I, I told him, I was like, yeah, you, you, well, you must like Rand Paul. And he's like, no, that motherfucker never, never approves anything that goes through. He's, he just says no to everything. And like, well, that's sort of the process when you're a libertarian. You don't just say yes to everything. And you don't say yes to very much either because you're not trying to just spend the taxpayer's money all the time. And I was like, well, then you got to love Ron Paul, right? Ron Paul, like that big, cons big uh, libertarian, like he's hardcore libertarian all the way, man. And he's like, no, I don't like that guy. That guy gave birth to Rand Paul. I'm like, okay, <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> okay, uh, weird. So you know, a lot of people that say they're libertarian these days, I don't know. In my opinion, they're just socialist. They want more hand out by the government they want uh more restrictions they want the corporations to be uh, uh restricted and like heavily um um heavily uh mandated by the government apparently um and i just think that's literally the opposite of of uh a libertarian libertarian is small government keep the government off our backs, keep the government off uh, our company's backs. You know, if I, if I build a, if I build a, a small little uh, business, I don't want the government coming in there and like beating me up, trying to get all this, all these different uh, hoops for me to jump through, you know, like, uh, like with Obamacare, if you had more than 50 employees, you had to provide uh, insurance for them. It was like ridiculous. Like, that's the kind of shit that I'm against. Like, Big Brother trying to influence every fucking thing. They can barely even take care of our Social Security. How are they supposed to take care of, you know, anything, really? So, I believe in small government. And, uh... I do believe in a military, so some libertarians don't believe too much in military. I definitely believe in a military. I don't believe we need to fight every fucking war out there. But... I do believe in a military, so I, I consider myself a conservative libertarian. And a lot of these people nowadays don't even know what libertarian is, you know? So it's it's kind of sad. Well... Already burned up my time here. It looks like my dabs are about out too. Coffee's out. Oh, this is this is nicotine though, or or it's nicotine free e juice. Okay, so if YouTube you're trying to age restrict me, this is all nicotine and THC free. Okay, we're not even smoking. This is just fog. It's fog juice. Okay. Fog juice. I bet if this was some Jägermeister and this was uh, some fog juice, they'd be okay with it though. <laughs>